Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, if you guys know, I made the move over to Twitch recently, and I've been spending a lot of time trying to concentrate on getting that going. Plus, I've been in a musical, I've been in two musicals actually, and I've been just incredibly busy. So getting videos out hasn't really been something that I've been able to have time for. But I am here, we are going to continue with this tutorial series to help you guys make your stream look more professional. And this topic is green screens. Alright guys, let's start off with a discussion. Lighting. If you guys watched my tutorial about how to make your webcam look good, you know lighting is super, super important for pretty much everything that you do. When it comes to green screens, lighting is so much more important because shadows are your biggest enemy when it comes to streaming with a chroma key. If you guys know, I am a photographer. I've been doing that for over 10 years now. And learning how to chroma key for photography is pretty much the same as it is for a stream. But when it comes to streaming, you're usually stuck with a lot of constraints. Uh, if you guys look over there, you can see that that's, that's my bed. So clearly, this is my bedroom. There's not a lot of space in here. But the tutorials that I've watched, and most of the tutorials you'll see out there, or instructions that you'll find in blogs and stuff, will talk about having a five foot space between you and your green screen, and lighting your green screen evenly, then lighting yourself with three point lights, and reduce shadows, and... It's a whole bunch of hooey. Um, yes, that works really well when you're filming a movie or when you're doing a photo shoot. But that doesn't work in a situation like this where you more than likely won't have more than two lights. And in a lot of cases, you'll have one light. Um, there's going to be shadows no matter what you do. And when you've only got six inches behind you, you can't do anything about lighting the green screen behind you comfortably without hot spots, without weird uh, color variations and things just going wrong. So I thought I would make this tutorial to show you guys um, that it is possible without having a whole bunch of lights. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm really well lit right now. I've got two lights going, but I can actually make this even better. And I'm going to show you the most extreme situation, uh, which is actually the average situation for brand new streamers. And, uh, and I'll show you that I can get Chroma Key to work and make it look almost as good as a professional chroma key with just a few filter settings and uh, and you won't have to worry about having five or six lights and a bunch of space between you and your green screen. So let's make this more of a realistic situation. Let me turn on the lights the way that they will probably look for a new streamer and uh, we'll get started and I'll show you how to make it look great. Okay guys, I've got it set up with just one light. Ideally, you're gonna have two lights, one on each corner of your desk, roughly, if you're sitting in the middle of the desk. Uh, you want it coming in at like a 45 degree angle, and you want the lights slightly high so the shadows get cast downwards. This helps reduce the shadowing on the green screen. If you guys have no lights, this can still help, but it may be beneficial to you to at least get one clamp light, a desk light, something to light you uh, a little bit brighter. But this will be roughly what it'll look like for you. And, uh, and obviously you can see a ton of shadows, which is the biggest detriment to chroma keying. Uh, you want no shadows in order to help the chroma key work the best. But we're trying to keep this realistic. We're gonna have some shadows, we're gonna have some issues. And uh, let's get started by opening up our webcam settings. So you might actually have it set to automatic, which will pick the white balance for you. It'll pick the exposure and everything which is great, but the problem is when you get closer to the camera or further, it'll mess with the exposure and the white balance, which will mess with your green screen the whole time. So we're gonna turn everything off, which I've already done here. Uh, and then you're gonna go to video processing. You guys should probably recognize this if you watched my last tutorial, because I went through this there too. And if you haven't checked it out, you should check it out in case you're not gonna, gonna use a green screen at some point. So, the next thing, gain. I told you guys in the other video that gain is your enemy. And it still is the case, you don't want to use gain. Um, I'll show you here right now, if I make this bigger, the black is very, very black on my chair, and the green is fairly average. You can see a little bit of like a shimmering effect here, but watch when I hap, watch when I happen. Watch what happens when I turn up the gain here. Yeah, it brings up the brightness quite a bit, but now look, you can see a lot more shimmering here in the green, and you can see that the grays, the blacks are now going more gray. They don't look as nice. Gain digitally makes the image brighter. Um, yes, it helps the image look brighter, but it reduces quality. So we don't want to go too bright, because if you see here, see how it goes white, you lose the detail. You don't want that much. So we're going to bring it down a bit. 
so we pretty much have as much detail as we can without darkening and we've reduced the shadows quite a bit here now white balance is super important too usually it'll be ticked off if you guys look at the green it changes slight color auto white balance tends to do a pretty good job at getting the colors right when you're dealing with a green screen the problem is depending on the shirt you're wearing and when you move the chroma key will actually freak out because the white balance will be changed as you move around and the camera tries to guess what is neutral white um, so I would suggest turn it off, eyeball it as best as you can. Uh, my lights fortunately actually tell me the Kelvin number, that's what that number is. Uh, so I'm able to just set them both the same and it'll roughly get it right. Just eyeball it the best that you can, get it as close as you can. And now the key moment, write everything down. Write down what your white balance is, your gain and your exposure. Because you want these to be the same every time you stream. Logitech has a really, really bad habit of resetting all of your settings every time you restart the computer so you might go through all this trouble restart your computer and you're gonna have to do it all again because you're not gonna get it to work as easily again unless you have it written down so write down all these settings but that's pretty much it the webcam is now set everything looks good let me shrink this down again so you guys can see what's going on uh, i had it you know blown up so you guys could actually see what effect it was having on the camera but uh, here we go um we are now set. You guys can see behind me, I have all my lights turned off, everything is pretty dark back there, uh, but it is obviously not part of the green screen. Can't chroma key something that's not part of the chroma key. So, number one step, bring this in. The way you do that is press the alt key on your keyboard and then left click on the edge here and then just push it in. Now, We've got only chroma key behind us. There is no bed. There's nothing like that. So this is going to help us to fully disappear. So you're going to right click on your webcam. You're going to click over on filters and then you're going to have your filters here. And we're going to add a chroma key. So we're going to apply this chroma key here. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as chroma key. Now, this is what a lot of people do. And uh, you guys can see it, you know, behind me, it's kind of shimmery or whatever. So what they do is they just turn this up. Great. They've turned it up, but look, my lighting is weird, so I'm still getting some shimmering over here. Do you see that? It doesn't look as good. If I move this, you can see the shimmering in the thing behind me. It's the shadowing, and you can see the shimmering. So you're going to turn this up, right, to get rid of it more. But now look what's happening. Now I'm becoming invisible. So I watch a lot of streamers, um, and I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not making fun of anybody. But they'll actually go for this, like, semi-see-through, weird, um, shimmery effect on their streams. And I think it looks pretty bad. I'm not a big fan of it. Through playing with everything, I found this. Uh, actually, I would turn this down. Turn it all off. If you guys are wondering what, um, key spill reduction does, sorry guys, my mindset is kind of everywhere because I'm just doing this off the cuff. So if you guys want to know what this, uh, key color spill reduction is... Uh, if you look, if I turn this off, see how it, like the green disappears? So what it's doing is it's trying to remove the green from the green screen. So if any um, weird shimmering is happening, it'll just make it gray. And it's a little bit less intrusive than green is. Um, I don't really use it. You can if you want. I don't like using it because it eventually intrudes into your skin color. And it'll actually like reduce your your saturation and you guys know i like a little bit of saturation in my colors uh, i don't really use it but that's just explaining what what it is um similarity what it does is it actually picks the green that it's chosen and then it opens up how similar the green has to be before it starts disappearing um, smoothness will actually get rid of some of that shimmery effect to help with the edges of your chair or your or your your hat your head whatever it'll help reduce that so you get less shimmer that's what those three levels are. That's all you're going to be working with. I wouldn't really touch the other ones. So here is the key moment, guys. You click here. See how it says green, blue, and magenta? Those are the different types of chroma keys you can have. Some of you will have blue. Some of you will have green. Magenta, I've never seen, but I know it can be used. If you're asking why they use these colors, they're not really found in the skin, so it won't affect your skin so much when you chroma key. Um, that's why they use them, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to go to custom color. See this green? Look how much greener that is than my chroma key. My chroma key is like a pale, like leaf green. That's a neon green. Um, in real life, it's pretty neon, but the camera doesn't pick it up that way. So here is the key moment. Pick select color. Now you can manually try to eyeball it 
and make this color kind of match. Like I can, I can do this and be like, okay, that's, that's pretty close, right? It's close, but it's not right. Click pick screen color. And now your mouse has become an eyedropper, basically meaning any color you go over, the color is now gonna pick that. So I could pick gray, I could pick this pink, I can pick the yellow in my shirt, or I can pick the green of my green screen. So you can pick anywhere on your green screen, but I would suggest picking kind of in between the darkest shadow and the lightest area. I'm gonna go somewhere in between. So like around here, which is like the shadow is coming off at that point, but it's still not fully brightened, but it's not as dark as the darkest area. And you click it. And now that color is selected. Guys using Streamlabs OBS, I'll explain this in a second because you guys don't have this option. So I'll explain how to get it on Streamlabs OBS in just a minute. But for OBS users, click it. Now if you look around me, look, look, look. There's weird shimmering, there's weird glitching out. This is telling me that the colors are so accurate that the chroma key with one level of similarity is trying to key it out. That means we're really close and we're working with the right kind of green already. So now, using the arrows, I wouldn't use the slider because you don't want to go overboard. Using the arrows, you're going to just move it up until you've keyed out everything you want. Now you can slide, it'll help. There. And there we go, guys. It's chromaed out. I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect. We only have one light, so we're going to have some weird glimmering. My hands are always going to be kind of weird with the lighting. But that's it. We've fixed it. It's chroma keyed now, and we don't have a lot of like weird jaggedy, jittery stuff around us. Uh, I'm not invisible. If I put this behind me, look, I'm not invisible. It's, it's working perfectly fine. Um, and that's it. That's with one light, you guys. I could show you that. With one light, you can get it to look just as good as you would with a full studio setup. So that's it, guys. Uh, now let me show you how you'll do it on Streamlabs OBS. I still have OBS open here because you actually need OBS Studio to get this to work on Streamlabs OBS. So download it, install it. It doesn't take a lot of space and you don't have to do anything. Just literally put a webcam uh, on so you can see it because you can't have both open at the same time. So just have OBS Studio open, uh, put on your webcam with the green screen and follow the exact same steps that we just did. But when you go to select color here, you're going to see HTML. I really hope you guys can see this. You're going to see HTML. Copy this code down. So control C, the code is now copied. And now you can close OBS all down. So let me get back to you when I'm over on Streamlabs OBS. Okay, guys, so we're here on Streamlabs OBS. Uh, you're going to do the exact same setup as before. You're going to add your webcam. You're going to add all the things that you're going to add. Uh, I'll do a whole video on how to set up OBS and how to get your, your image um, to display everything that you want. But for now, let's just assume that you know how to do all that. Um, you're going to add everything the way that you did on OBS Studio. And then we're going to right click and filter as we did before. Now, I have a bunch of other filters because I am using... Um, you know, this is what I actually use to stream. I've got it all set up for my two lights and everything. Uh, we're going to add here. Now, in OBS Studio, we have the option to do a color key or a chroma key. The color key allows you to key out any specific color at all. Uh, chroma key is more for like green screens and stuff. I don't really know which one works better. I think they work the same, but just use chroma key just to make life easier. Go here and go to custom. But now look, I, I don't have pick a screen color. So again, you could eyeball it and try to figure it out. But remember how we copied that, that code over on OBS Studio? Put it here in the hex. So erase what's there and then paste it here with Control V. Now the color has been selected and look, it's starting to freak out again. So now it knows that it's the right kind of green. And now just do the same thing. Bring this up. Nice and slow and delicate bring this up a little bit that's pretty good it's not 100 percent perfect again we're just using one light but there it is it's chromaed out um streamlabs obs i would really love it if you guys added that feature to pick a screen color and this would save everybody a hassle when it comes to keying themselves out if their green screen isn't a legitimate green screen but that's it guys that's all it takes uh and uh yeah it works both on obs and obs studio I'm going to continue with the series, you guys. I, I am hoping to give you everything you need to make your stream look and sound as good as possible to give you guys the best shot to have your channel be noticed. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like or a dislike. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me if this helped you. This, did this make sense? Was there something that, that got you kind of stuck? 
I'll try to answer as many questions as I can down below. Uh, but if you want to come and hang out, you guys, and watch how my stream looks when it's up and going so you can see that I'm not just making this stuff up and that I actually use this information, uh, make sure you guys check me out at twitch.tv slash retro for the first time. I stream most days of the week. Uh, we are setting a schedule up real soon, uh, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully your stream looks better now after watching these tutorials, and uh, I look forward to giving you guys another lesson in the near future. Alright guys, have fun chroma keying out there, and I will see you next time. Bye.